What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, we are on part two of our series of my 2024 rig rundown where I show you all the equipment that I'm wearing for 2024. And in today's video, if you can't tell, we're going to be talking about BCDs. I'm going to show you every BCD that I'm currently using in 2024. And I'm going to show you some modifications that I've made to a few of them over the years compared to our last rig rundown from either a year ago or two years ago, whatever it was. And I'm going to talk a little bit about those modifications and why I chose to go that route. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video and see what BCDs I'm wearing for 2024. All right, guys, here is a whole line of BCDs that I am wearing for 2024. There's going to be two over here on the end that we're just not even going to be talking about. Those guys are going away in storage, uh, but we're going to be focused on the ones here in the middle. And we're also not going to be talking about this one over here. This is my daughter's backplate and wing, so we probably won't be talking about it. Um, but we are going to be talking about these five here. I do have three backplate and wings, and I do have two side mount harnesses. So that's a total of five BCDs that I'm wearing in 2024, and I've virtually got them all set up. I identical even though I use them for different things and I'm going to be talking about what I actually use each one for. So with that being said let's go ahead and start over here on the left and start with this guy here. Yes this is just a standard backplate and wing from the Mares XR line nothing fancy. It's a three mil steel there. I do have the soft plate or the, I'm sorry, the uh, cushion pad here on the back. Anytime I dive steel I like that uh, soft cushion plate. I really believe that it you know, it keeps my back nice and warm. Single piece webbing harness. What you will notice is there's no bladder on it. And the reason is the bladder for that particular one is in the previous video. So if you watch my tank video, you'll see that bladder is set up on a set of doubles. We currently have a TriMix student right now who needed a bladder and a set of doubles and even a reg set. So I've let him borrow all that. So I took my bladder off that. He stuck it on his back plate and wing and off he goes. So yeah, that's what I use for doubles diving there. And of course I can dive it with steel tanks, aluminum tanks, just whatever. And of course I have the 44 pound bladder, which I'll throw up here on the screen for you from the previous video that I use for that. Next up, of course, is my monkey diving BCD. And yes, I said monkey diving. This is my single tank travel side mount system. And yeah, I can use it for double tank as well, but it's typically what I travel with. You probably saw this in our video from down in Cosmail where we did the mirror video too. Uh, that's the BCD that I was wearing from there. And if you've seen any of my monkey diving videos, that's what I wear for single tank side mount. It is nothing fancy. It's just a Mares XR pure system. This happens to be the 22 pound bladder there. There's my little butt pouch there. I've got complete aluminum hardware all the way through it for easy and lightweight travel do have a spine pouch here in the back and of course i've got aluminum hardware on the bottom and around the waist strap now one unique feature about this i do have a quick weight system here from xs scuba where i can just throw on a, a weight very quickly on any type of webbing i just happen to have it here on my right side because when i monkey dive or single tank side mount dive my single tank side mount bottle goes on my left side. So to counterbalance that, I throw either a two or a three pound weight on it and boom, I'm counterbalanced and it works out perfect for trim. But that is for single tank side mount or traveling side mount diving. Next up, of course, is my heavy duty side mount system and it's virtually identical to my travel rig with the exception is it's got a 34 pound bladder versus a 22 pound bladder. It also has all steel hardware here versus aluminum hardware. And of course, this is what I use for dual tank side mount or technical side mount. Anytime I'm carrying more than say two bottles, I can clip off three, four, five, six bottles with this thing. And it's still virtually set up identical with the exception. It doesn't have that uh, quick weight pouch over there. Um, occasionally, I will throw a couple extra trim pouches here if I need it for whatever reason uh, for trim issues or to add a couple extra pounds. But just like my other system, it does have the spine pouch here in the middle. And of course, I can put five pounds in each pocket so I can get up to 25 pounds there, 25 pounds there, including there. So I've got plenty of places for weight if I need that much weight. But yeah, it's just got a butt pouch there too. Single piece webbing harness all the way through, just like on most backplate wings. But yeah, that is my uh, heavy duty side mount system from the Mares XR Pure Line. All right, now for my teaching rig. This is just a standard Mares XR soft backplate and wing. 
This is what I use for all recreational diving if I'm traveling and need a single tank back mount. And of course, I teach in this and I can teach all different classes in this as well. And of course, if I need to, I can strap on heavier steels. I can strap on doubles. Yes, I've dove a set of doubles with a soft plate and it's very, very comfortable, very, very rigid. I actually like it very much. Uh, the reason I choose a soft plate, when I work seven days a week in the water, I want to be comfortable. And I want a system that's going to, you know, kind of, shape to my body or contour to my body and that soft plate really works great and just like my travel side mount this only has a 22 pound bladder here so i really like the 22 pound bladder because first of all i never overweight myself so i don't need as much lift as what people think and anytime you dive a balanced rig let's say you did have a failure which i've never really had a failure with this but if you ever had a failure you could still swim up that balanced rig so i really like that now the reason i mentioned that is you will notice there's no weight pouches anywhere no ditchable weights i do not dive ditchable weights i've talked about this in plenty of videos why i choose personally not to do it i'm not telling you not to i'm telling you i choose not to however there are some trim pouches back here on the back okay so if i find myself in a situation where i need an extra say two to four pounds or whatnot boom i've got some trim pouches throw them in there and i'm good to go but nothing really fancy about this this is a great travel great all-around bcd and of course this is what i teach most recreational scuba courses in and of course, last on the list of BCDs that I'm using for 2024, this is my salvage and public safety BCD. Uh, this thing is absolutely a beast. I've probably got a thousand dives just on this BC alone. Now I have made some modifications to this system, which we're gonna go over compared to say our previous uh, video or our previous series on our rig rundown. But let's briefly go through everything that's attached here, why I choose to use this, and then I'll show you the modifications. This is just a three mil steel from the Mares XR uh, system here. So it's a steel back plate and wing. It's got a 34 pound bladder versus a 22. I need the extra lift because a lot of times I'm diving heavier steels. Uh, nothing really fancy. It's just a typical setup here. However, I have modified this briefly or here recently due to an incident that I had. Now you guys are gonna be privileged to see an episode in season four, Deep Water Salvage on the Weather Channel. There was an incident with me out in the ocean where I was doing a salvage. I had a little incident and then of course, trying to get back up on the boat in 10 knots of current was a pain in the butt, especially if I'm wrapped up in a dry suit, full face mask, and this rig here was just about to the point where they had to cut me out of the harness to get me back on the boat. That being said, I have switched from the single piece harness, which I've done for years, back to a deluxe style harness with the quick releases here. And I know there's a lot of people that frown on that. They can't stand them. They don't trust them. They feel like they're a failure point. Guys, I've been in this industry for 36 years. I've dove all different types of BCs, not just backplate and wings. I've dove jacket styles. I've dove hybrid styles. I've dove it all. And I've never once had a failure out of, well, more than 10,000 dives. I've never once had a failure out of these uh, quick cinch buckles. So I've switched back to it for public safety and salvage. It does make it very easy to get in and out of the system if there's an emergency. And so I really do like it. Plus it is adjustable too. So I know a lot of people don't like adjustable harnesses. As you can tell, I wear single piece webbing harnesses. However, big thick dry suits, sometimes when you're trying to get in and out of your suit very quickly, or I'm sorry, in and out of your BC really quickly, having that adjustment makes it a lot easier as well. But that's going to be my public safety and salvage rig for 2024 and how I've currently got it set up. All right, guys, I do want to make a quick note before we close out this video. If you're going to be diving multiple BCDs the way I do for different purposes, but you do all want them to be a redundant system to one of the other, you need to set them up all the same. And for me personally, I do believe in consistency. So let me show you really quick how I've got these guys set up so that I can literally just grab and go. So if I'm working with one BC, I can immediately take it off if I need to do something else, put the other one on, and it's virtually going to be set up identical to the same. So let's start with the actual back plate and wings first. You will notice that the back plate and wings, nothing fancy, but on the right side is where I keep my SMB and reel. On the left side where I can get to it with either hand is also where I keep a cutting device. And even though my bladder's not on this, on my double bladders, I do have a set of shears which matches these two BCDs over here. So you'll notice on the right side is where my SMB and reel is. On the left side is where I've got two cutting tools. And of course, I've also got a set of shears up here. Same way on my teaching rig, my SMB and reel 
is over on my left side. I got a cutting device here on my left side that I can reach with either hand and I got a dual cutting device up here too. So they are virtually all set up identical so that if I need to grab and go, I can grab one and I'm going to be consistent underwater and know where everything's at without having to struggle. My side mount systems are absolutely the exact same. Yes, they're smaller bladders for one versus the other and one's got aluminum versus steel, but they're still virtually set up the same. Now we'll be making an update video to what I carry in these side mount butt pouches here. I know I made one back in the summer, what I wear when I'm in cave country, and I made one what I wear when I go traveling, but I want to show you how I set them up because these two guys are slightly different as far as what I carry. I don't carry all the same items, say for my single tank side mount system that I do for a dual tank side mount, so I will be making an updated video sometime this summer on that, but stay tuned for that. But yeah, I want to talk a little bit about that consistency and why if you're going to be diving multiple BCDs, they should all be set up virtually the same, so no matter which BCD you grab and go with you're going to be consistent with it when you're diving so there you go guys that's it for my 2024 rig rundown of my bcds what i'm wearing here in 2024 so i kind of showed you what i'm wearing why i choose to wear it and how i've actually got them set up but let me know down in the comment section below what bcd or bcds you are using if you have multiple ones and let me know down in the comments why you choose to use that whether it's a particular brand a particular style or if you're using them say for a particular type of diving and if you do have multiple bcds let me know why. Why not just take one that works for everything? Or do you like, if you're like me, do you like to set them up for multiple things? Because I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you did like it, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share this video. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns on any of these BCDs, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. But that's going to do it for today. Stay tuned. Our very next video is going to be all of my personal regs that I'm using for 2024 and how I use them and why I use them. So definitely stay tuned for that. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.